Hey guys, it's me, Julian Greystoke. I'm wearing my Otter Space shirt. Isn't it cute? Today I'm doing a video that I am just like blatantly stealing the idea for from the Princess and the Scriveners channel. If you don't watch them, you definitely should. I just, I saw the Scrivener doing this video and I was like, that is a beautiful, wonderful idea and I have to do it myself. They explained it very eloquently at the beginning of their video. I am not going to do as well as that. Hey guys, this is the world's fastest reminder that you can support me on Patreon and see all kinds of exclusive videos like these ones. Now back to your regularly scheduled program. Now some of you may have seen, it's been going around my Facebook again. I don't know if it is yours. Yes, I still have a Facebook. Yes, I'm old. Anyway, it's been going around my Facebook again. Those those challenges where it's like post a picture of your of you know 10 of your favorite movies without any explanation without any context and i agree i've never done one of those because i agree with the scrivener that that is really boring and it doesn't inform anything about your character because people who see that are are going to assume different things like if they see that you like a certain movie they're going to equate your liking of it to some preconceived notion that, of that movie that they have in their head, and it does not give a good example of who you are or what that movie means to you. So, what the Scrivener suggested is that instead, she made a video of talking about just movies that are in her heart, movies that are very special to her for various reasons, and just talking about why she loves them, what that says about her. So I decided to take off my negative Nelly hat for once in my damn life and just praise things. So I am going to try very hard not to criticize, even though you guys know that I critique everything, even the things that I love. I'm going to try to set that aside for today so we can just look at, I, I narrowed it down to seven and it's not a top seven list, it's not going in order, to seven movies that are very special to me for various reasons and maybe we'll talk a little bit about what, like, what they might say about me as a person and you can uh, go from there and if you want to do this video I don't see why not but yes, The Scrivener from The Princess and The Scrivener, linked below, came up with it, totally stealing it from her. In no particular order, uh, the first one I have is A Knight's Tale. That movie is my aesthetic. I like the sort of weird combination of slightly modern and also medieval kind of look. I love the characters so much. I love their friendship. I love their dynamics. The actors do such a good job of giving all of those characters like amazing heart and soul. You believe that all of those people are friends and you believe that they have their own wants and desires and it is so good. Now, of course, there are things I don't like about it, but we're not here to talk about those. I also really like the music and you can fight me. You can fight me. I know so many people who are like, that kind of music doesn't belong in this kind of movie. Don't they know what kind of movie this is? And I'm like, yeah, they know. And then they put you know, we are the champions in it, and it works really well, so I'm mad, okay? I just, I love it. I love the opening sequence. I love that Will uses the same horse through the whole movie. He wins so many horses, but he doesn't replace that horse with, like, some fancy newer horse. He uses the horse he knows and loves. It speaks to my heart. I love Watt because he's so angry. I love Chaucer. I want to do a Chaucer cosplay someday and just like do scream all of his speeches at people. I just, I love it. Kate, I am Kate in real life. That's who I am. So yes. Uh, what does it say about me? I mean, you guys already know that I LARP and that's pretty much like the LARPer aesthetic kind of that movie. So I think it says about me that I like well acted movies that are like set in medieval times, but maybe don't take themselves super, super seriously. The next one on my list is Tron. Some of these are gonna be older movies because they are favorites from my childhood, and I love Tron. I hated the second one. I, I, I watched it once in theaters and I refused to watch it again because I thought it was hot garbage. The first one, I don't know, I saw it when I was a kid, and obviously I've watched it multiple times after that, but I just, I love this, you know, the story's very simple, but I love it. I love the ideas in it of going inside the computer and everything. Before that was really a thing, Tron did it. You know, now we've got Re Ralph Breaks the Internet and all this stuff, people inside computers all the time, but back then, it was a thing. 
I love the visual style when they're inside, like the computer and everything is black and white except for the literally hand-painted, they hand-painted all of those glowing effects onto the film. Like, damn. I, I have a really, really big soft spot for practical effects and understanding a lot of the hard work that, that uh, creators put into films like that, and so just knowing that really makes me appreciate it even more. But I just, as a nerd, as a young nerd especially, Tron really spoke to me. I love the light cycle sequence. I love Bit, who only says yes and no. I don't know why as a kid he was like my favorite. I, I rewatched it recently and I was like, didn't Bit have a larger part? Because he was like my favorite as a kid and he's only in it for like a teeny little bit. I say he, but it's a genderless Tron forever. Tron is the best. If you have not seen Tron, I really recommend that you go check it out. Have an open mind. Best line ever that my brother and I still quote to each other. Now that's a big door. The next on my list is The Lion King. This is my fucking childhood. I don't know why I became so obsessed with The Lion King as a kid. Well, as you know why, I, I like animals a lot and it had talking lions in it. And The Lion King See, we didn't have a lot of money when I was a kid, and so it was very rare that we could go see a movie, and it was unthinkable that we would afford to see a movie twice, but I convinced my parents to see The Lion King in theaters twice. That's how dedicated to The Lion King I was, it, and I, I still am. I think it's beautifully animated. I love the story. I love looking for all of the Hamlet parallels in there, because, you know, I'm also a Shakespeare nerd. Yeah, it just still speaks to me will forever be my jam. The next one on my list is Star Trek The Voyage Home. This one, my father showed us a lot of movies when we were kids that kids probably shouldn't watch. Uh, we saw all of the Star Trek movies, of course, but The Voyage Home was my favorite. I think because it didn't take itself as seriously as the other ones. I really sort of appreciated especially after like the heaviness of like the Wrath of Khan and even the search for Spock. Something that you could laugh at sometimes. It was still serious, but it was also absurd in the way that only Star Trek can be. The whole whale situation just made me feel like I was watching one of the old episodes because I watched a lot of Star Trek when I was a kid. Still do, but you know, back then as well. And I just the mood of it, the tone of it, all of the, my favorite characters together again, and each of them having something to do. Like Uhura had something to do, Chekhov had something to do, Scotty had something to do. Obviously Kirk and Spock and McCoy had things to do. Some of my favorite McCoy scenes in the hospital. I love it. I love Kirk and Spock sort of getting their dynamic back after the whole search for Spock situation and then like kind of feeling each other out and finding their brotherhood again. It's just, mwah, I love it so much. And I know there are flaws, and I know it's the goofy, like the goofiest one, and many people are like, ugh, my least favorite, but that one is always gonna be my favorite of those old movies. The next one on this list is Little Women, the one with Winona Ryder. Yeah, I mean, there's not that much to say. I just, it, it really, the characters really spoke to me, the the setting really spoke to me because I like historical fiction things. Obviously I related to Joe. She's a writer, I'm a writer. She's a little bit more independent than me. I related to Joe and at the same time I really related to Beth. So there were two characters that I really strongly connected with. I loved Marmy. It's very well acted. The pacing I think is really good too. It's just a well made movie that just gives me all of the feels. You guys know, some of you might know if you watch my channel, that I don't cry. I am not a crier. It takes a lot to turn on the waterworks for me. The ending of this movie, every time, every damn time, I can't stop myself from crying. Usually it's just a few womanly tears, you know, but yeah, that's, that's, that's basically sobbing for me, so. It's beautiful. Go check it out if you haven't. Give it a chance. If you're looking for something not intense, you know, you need a break from all the swashbuckling and the sword fighting and the superheroes, and you just want a story about these sisters growing up, finding their way, their family, their situation, their hardships. It's just beautiful. It's beautiful. There's no other word. 
The next one on my list is the one I often give when people ask what's your favorite movie because picking a favorite is really hard so I just kind of default to this one and that is The Dark Crystal. I know it freaks a lot of people out but I love it. The visual aesthetic is just so pleasing to me. I love how alien it is. I love how weird it is. I love that there are no humans at all and we're just on this alien planet with these people who are like us but not like us and we just have to like relate to it and I know it's a very basic story it's just a hero's journey incredibly predictable but the visuals and like all of the work that is evident on the screen make up for it for me and I love watching the special features I don't watch the special features of many movies but I've watched and rewatched the special features from that one because all of the work that Jim Henson put into that was so amazing. Just the little things, like deciding that he would puppeteer Jen up like over his head instead of like, instead of Kermit, you know, walking along like this. Jim Henson's actual personal footsteps are Jen's footsteps to give him a more realistic gait. And I just, mwah. I'm gonna keep doing this. It's so good. It's so good. And I know it freaked a lot of people out, but I like freaky things, so it was perfect for me. And the last one on my list, and again I have so many other favorite movies than these, but these ones are just ones that immediately jumped into my head when I was doing this, is The Rocketeer. If you have not seen The Rocketeer, please go watch The Rocketeer. The effects haven't aged particularly well, but the story and the characters are so like, they are so proto-Marvel. Watching that, you would almost swear that it's somehow a Marvel movie that got lost along the way. Because it feels like that our superhero movies that we have now, but way back, you know, I forget when it's made. And I love it. And it also holds a special place in my heart because it's a special movie that my brother and I, who grew up, we were very close to each other. Uh, we loved that movie and we grew up watching it over and over and... So it's special for that reason, but also it's because it's an excellent movie! Like, I, you know, you think maybe going back to watch a movie that you loved as a kid, it might not hold up, but The Rocketeer fucking holds up. So, go give it a chance. I don't think you'll be disappointed. There's Nazis in it, there's a guy who flies around in a rocket and wears a silly helmet. I mean, what else could you ask for? Oh, uh, I've, I've been forgetting to say what these things say about me. Um, let's see. Tron says about me that I'm a nerd. The Lion King says that I'm a furry. Probably, I don't know. Star Trek, again, nerd, space nerd. Little Women, I am an author and I relate to other women. Uh, Dark Crystal, I love the aesthetic and I love Jim Henson. And The Rocketeer, I love a fun story well told. There you go. Those are what those movies say about me. So none of that ambiguity, none of that me putting these pictures of these movies up on Facebook for you to figure out why I love them. This is here now telling you all of those things. And I hope you found it enjoyable listening to me gush for once instead of being so negative all the time. And I encourage you to do something like this too because, you know, every now and then, Every so often I like to add a little positivity to the universe. I hope I've encouraged you to maybe check out some of these movies if you haven't already. Uh, if you don't feel like doing a video of your own, you can comment below and let me know what your 7 or 10 or however many movies you want are, what they are, and uh, what you think that says about you as a person. Be as detailed as you want. I don't mind reading. I will read it all. If you liked what you saw here and you want to see similar but not exactly like this, I have a lot of videos on this channel, so please go check them out. They're all there for your binging pleasure. If you wish what you saw was higher quality, you can support me on Patreon, where not only do you help me save up for better equipment, but you also get exclusive content that is only available to patrons, so please consider checking that out. Otherwise, here I post new videos Mondays and Fridays, all the links to my social media are in the doobly-doo for ease of your clicking, and I will see you again next time with whatever it is I happen to be doing next time. Bye! Well look at that, it's shout out time again. We are here to shout out this month's patrons with Lennox, Amanda, Ashley, Celia, Jenny, Kim, Lisa, Lamore, Sabby Panda, and Sarah. And if you want to be great like these awesome people, then you can become my patron over on Patreon.